Hi, I'm Brett Martin with Fairfax County Land Development Services. Today, I'm going to give you a quick demo of the Site Records Viewer. The splash screen that you see here gives you a little background on the application. The application is designed for public use to locate site records in Fairfax County. The records in the application are tied to the original tax map parcel found on the record. So due to the age of the records, many of the parcels are expired. Fairfax County only maintains GIS data for parcels dating back to the year 2000. So this means that any site record that's on a parcel that expired prior to 2000 will not be in this application currently. However, these records will still be accessed by submitting a request to records and information management or by calling them. So the first thing you want to do is locate the area that you want to do the research. So you have three options here. You can search by the uh, address, the parcel, or the site record itself. We're going to go ahead and type in an address, 5107 Marshall Farm. Perfect. So when I click on the map, let things draw for a second. So when I click on the map, you can see that there's the parcel number, the document name, the plan type, and the address. You also see this is one of four, meaning if I hit this arrow and tab through, there are multiple plans that are associated with this location. If I want to see the plan, I will click on the hyperlink and it will open up the plan. So to walk you through some of the, um, the widgets that are in this application, the first is the about widget, and this just explains how the basics of the map, how to use it, and the different tools. It's basically everything I'm gonna explain in this quick tutorial. The layers in this application, or the legend, I'm sorry, um, you have site records, address points, and parcels. Site records you can see is transparent, and the reason being is this is 20 years of parcel data. Some are expired, they're on top of each other. It's kind of a mess if they're on for default. However, I'll show you in a minute how you can turn those on because it can be extremely useful. This is your layer list. There's three layers, again, site records, address points, parcels. You can toggle them on and off. Like I said, if you hit this ellipse next to site records, you can change the transparency to make it visible. Next is the base map widget. This has our standard county base maps. You have your aerial imagery, your, your topo base maps, planning and zoning, um, property maps, et cetera. One other cool widget is the filter widget. So we can see here, like here's one of five in this location. If I only wanted to see, say, the RPA plan, I would come down, select, RPA. Now you can filter on multiple if you would like as many as you want and then click this button when it's green. All we see now is this RPA plan. One other cool widget is the site records near me widget. So you can search by address to get to the location or if you just want to drop a point on the map we can do it right here. This is showing me every site record within a mile. So if I wanted to change that and just bring it into half a mile, it will list those out here. So you can see there are three. And if you just click on one, it gives you the same information that was in the pop-up, click on the hyperlink, it opens the plan. One other cool, um, widget here is our add data button. So you can come in here and you can search for any publicly available layer um, that we have. So every, all the layers you see with the blue Fairfax County, these are all of our layers. These are all public. So I'm going to type in RPA and add the RPA layer. And you can see it cuts across the corner of this parcel. So remember we have that plan open up here. So we can come down and see what was on the plan. And there's our field mapped RPA, which is the GIS layer, or the, sorry, yeah, the mapped, Fairfax County mapped RPA. And then here's the field verified RPA that came in on this plan. So you can come back and look. It's really just cutting off this, this corner 
right there. So it's really a helpful tool to be able to come in and, and add the layers. The other interesting, or well, you can also see in the top right, get a little bit of information on Fairfax County Land Development Services. And then also at the bottom, we have the attribute table. So this is a very useful tool. It's set off of default to only filter on what's in my map extent. So say I have my, I have my filter off and I was really wanting to see all the records that were visible on the map. It's gonna generate those, which there's a lot in this area, 176. Um, it's gonna generate a list of those. You could export those out to a CSV if you wanted to. And the last thing that I really wanted to show you was the um, just a little added benefit to this is these address points, the black dots, will link you directly to uh, LDIH and also zoom you directly to this allocation and the planning and zoning viewer. That's all that I have today. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out and uh, thanks, have a good day.